A Fortune magazine headline is raising questions this morning about whether travelers flying coach are helping pay for the luxury of the first class passengers. We wanted to see how the short walk from first to economy is creating a growing divide. Chris Van Cleve is at Dulles International Airport near Washington with what's behind that curtain. Chris, good morning. Well, good morning. In a few hours, this will be a business class line. It's something that most of us don't get to stand in very often. In fact, according to a new TripAdvisor survey, more than three out of four flyers' biggest pet peeve were shrinking seats on airplanes. So if you feel like the planes may be a little bit more crowded than it used to be, you're probably not alone, unless, of course, you're up front with the big spenders in first class. There, you're still flying the high life. For $229 million, this terminal in Los Angeles got an upgrade meant to appeal to elite flyers with a premium check-in area and access to a special lounge. And this plane has apartments in the sky. It's good to fly first class. The airlines are racing to update their cabins and service with luxurious new options for a select few. Travel editor Peter Greenberg. If somebody's going to pony up $23,000 for a round trip to London, you know what? They can throw in a Porsche to take him to the plane. For the rest of us, it may seem like we're paying more for less, shelling out money to check bags, to eat on board, sometimes to even choose a seat. I'm small, and yet, you know, you're just crammed into these seats, so it's terrible. You're kind of packed in there. The seats are tight. Several airlines have gone to so-called slimline seats. They take up less space, allowing more seats to be squeezed on board. For a lot of people, once you get you know, above a six or seven hour flight, they just, they cannot even bear the idea of being in the back of the plane, so they will step up. And that's what the airline's hoping for. It's additional revenue for the airline. Welcome to our new premium economy class. In fact, on long haul flights, a number of carriers are finding a way to cash in on economy flyer fatigue with a premium economy at a cost far below business class, but more than those cheap seats. Singapore Airlines is installing these now. Flyers will have the added perk of being able to order a fancy meal ahead of time to be delivered at their seat during the flight. Whether it's dining or entertainment or the actual space that you have in your seat, we've taken the product to the next level. In a statement to CBS this morning, Airlines for America, that's the trade group that represents airlines, says actually those high fares that the first class flyers are paying help keep prices lower for everyone else. Nora? All right, Chris, okay. thank you. Yeah. Interesting to see how that's shaken out. Yeah, I don't like the plan of squeezing more seats into the oh, cabin. They it's get just smaller really and hard. smaller yeah. and smaller. And we're getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> <laughs> you need to think about that, everybody. That's right.